How cold is it? It's that cold. Negative six with a minus 30 wind chill. Why I feel like somebody's watching me. Which is why I'm also home. Even work called in and said it was too cold to show up. So we're going to try to get some work done on the car today. Um, I think fender's bumper. Honestly, I'm starting to get like a little... It's starting to feel the time crunch a little bit. So now it's like less than six weeks. Until the first event, which I've kind of already waved off. But April 10th is the one I'm trying to make. Two-day event down at uh, Riverside. So today I'm going to try to get... Uh, fenders off, bumper off, probably pull oil cooler, oil lines, uh, potentially the engine wiring harness, and I might do some other little stuff inside the car if I can get in there. It's cold, so I don't know how long I'm going to stay out here, but maybe the uh, brake booster, clutch master, window motor. I just want to get a lot of stuff out of the bay, so hopefully this weekend. I can start just cutting away all the rust and see how much work I actually have to do before I can paint it and start putting it back together. So, got some more lights up, so hopefully that helps because I saw the last videos were very dark. Fingers crossed. I didn't do a very good job taking video, so I'm just going to voice over some of the time lapses here. Let you guys know what's going on. So right now you're just seeing uh, me pull the fenders and bumpers off, pulling some of the brackets, you know, wiring here and there, window motor, all that stuff comes off. Uh, go inside the car, this is where I unhook the engine harness from the ECU so I can pull the harness through the firewall. And then a couple buddies stop by, you know how that is, just end up sitting there talking, don't get a whole lot of work done. Then buddy Brian comes over, Dan pops over for a little bit. He uh, gives the bay a wipe down so we can kind of see what we're working with a little bit because it was pretty dirty. He's just taking some of the dirt off so you can see what's there. At this point, I've pulled the uh, main body harness as far as I could out of the car because to get it through the left front corner, you have to pull apart the uh, relay and fuse boxes, which I didn't want to do. But some of the plastic's pretty brittle and didn't want to chance breaking anything. Me, Glenn, and Brian here, we're just removing all the seam sealer cleaning up the seams that are going to get uh, stitch welded and to figure out where the uh, rust ends and the good metal begins. But that's as far as I got for this week. It's just a quick short video. So until next time, see you guys later.